If you take something like this beautiful self-portrait that you know is made of resin and dunk it in water, what's going to happen? Sinks like a stone. Why? Because the specific gravity of resin is heavier than water. In short, it weighs more than water, so it's going to sink. But what can you do if you want to make a casting that floats? A fishing lure is a great object for this project. I particularly like this one, which is made by Rapala, or Rapala, or however you pronounce it. Anyway, I like the shape. It's simple, it's clean, and easy to carve, and it'll make a perfect subject for this project. So I carved it out of sculptor's wax and set it up for casting with a funnel, sprue, and vent. It's time to build a mold case, so let's lay it out, cut it out on the table saw, wax it up with beeswax, and glue it together with the same rubber that I'm gonna to use to cast the parts. This is my genius process for building a mold case that's quick and easy to build, but also incredibly easy to take apart. It's a simple shape to cut, just a straight line down the back. Always cut jaggy so that the mold halves interlock and form those perfect invisible parting lines. Well, now we've made our test casting, our clean-out casting, we know how much it weighs, about 18 grams. And as expected, it sinks like a stone. But how much of this stuff do we need to make it float? To lighten the resin, I'm going to use plastic microspheres, and these are not my favorite things to work with. They're incredibly feather light, and they float through the air like a toxic cloud of impending death. So it's imperative to wear a high quality dust and fume mask. And when you handle the powder, be as gentle and careful as you can so as not to stir the stuff up. Same with when you're adding it to the resin, just stir slowly, gently, kind of fold it over until you incorporate the plastic powder into the resin. Then you can stir it rapidly, but you have to dispense it quickly because otherwise it might go off before you get the mold filled. What you can't do with micro balloons is pressure cast them. Look at this mold. See that top level? That's where I filled it to. See where the resin is now? It's way down lower. That means that all those micro balloons got crushed and this casting is gonna sink like a stone just as if I had not put any micro balloons in it at all. So casting number three will pour, but we won't put it into the pressure pot and then we'll test it and see what happens. It's cured, it's ready, let's pull it and see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> Floats like a cork, exactly as predicted. However, if you notice, it's laying on its side. It's not floating vertically. To make it do that, we're gonna add these little fishing weights. Okay, so let's pour casting number four. Just estimating, I'm gonna add seven weights, but purely a guess. Then I can fill up the mold with resin and tap it and that makes sure the weights will settle down to the deepest part of the cavity where they belong. It's taken four castings to get this project to where we are, so let's pull it out of the mold and see how we did. Okay, what do you guys think? Is it going to sink like a stone? Is it going to hang vertically? Is it going to bob in the water and float? I feel like it's going to sink. I think it's going to sink vertically and stand upright. Let's find out what it does. Oh, it's still floating. <laughs> Look at that. Cool. This is what you have to do with every ingredient in your project, every part of your project. You just have to iterate. You just have to measure, keep records, keep experimenting until you can get the exact right mix of resin and micro balloons and lead weight and everything you need. Now, keep in mind, this thing is also supposed to have hardware attached into it and hooks and other stuff. So it's entirely possible that it would sink slowly when you add the, tr the hooks and all the other hardware. I'm really pleased because this is exactly the result I wanted. I wanted a shape that floated but hung vertically in the water. Hey, I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. Hey, if you did, support me on Patreon. Hit the super thanks button down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.